Anyone who ever lived in the 80s can tell you it wasn't only a different decade, but it was a different century. MTV was going strong and bringing us superstars like we had never seen before. Fashions of the time period were things like members-only jackets, parachute pants, and of course big hair. As the decade went on, more and more people were trying to update their homes away from the 70s styles. Today we're going to take a look at some of these changes that you'll probably remember. Remember when glass blocks started coming on strong in the 80s? They weren't from this decade, in fact they were from 100 years earlier. But many people in the 80s started creating faux walls out of these and even placing them in the windows of kitchens and bathrooms. Their popularity increased so much that the trend started making its way into movies. Take a look at Kirstie Alley and John Travolta in 1989's Look Who's Talking. This home decorative trend certainly made its way into the 90s as well. Many of the homes that were built in the 1980s featured honey oak cabinets. If you had an older home, then you may not have seen these. However, there's a good chance you saw them at someone else's house or perhaps in a movie or on television. These cabinets were overused in the 80s and if you see them now, they reek of acid wash jeans and lots of hairspray. Clear furniture made a comeback in the 80s in a big way. Lucite became very popular during the decade and it was popping up in homes, businesses and everywhere. This trend was originally part of the Art Deco trends in the early 20th century. If you had a clear table, it could be a good thing, though. No one was going to try to play footsie and not be seen. The Memphis design is another trend that became popular in the 1980s, but it didn't originate in Memphis. It actually came from Italy, and the inspiration came from Bob Dylan's 1966 album, Blonde on Blonde. The designs were colorful geometric patterns, and you probably saw these carry over into the 90s as well. Think about Saved by the Bell. Floral bedding and curtains became super big in the 1980s. All sorts of designs were available, but Laura Ashley's frilly girly collection pretty well ruled the market. There's no doubt that you ran into this bedroom trend at some point. Even if you didn't have them, then you probably dated some girl that did have it. Take a look at Kim Basinger sitting on a floral bedspread in 1988's My Stepmother is an Alien. In the 80s, it seemed like every home, new or old, had metal wall sculptures. These two-dimensional art pieces seemed to be various plants, flowers, or birds flying. They were often quite large and it made decorating easy. However, in truth, it just meant more work dusting the house. Just like today, phones were very popular among teenagers. There weren't any apps to play with, but there was this super long receiver cord that you could curl around your fingers or jump rope with while you talked to your friends. The 80s was all about these cool novelty phones. It could be Garfield, Snoopy, or one of the hundreds of other phones that were out on the market. If you didn't have one of these, then you probably dreamed of getting one while you were looking at the Sears, JCPenney's, or Montgomery Ward's Christmas catalogs. Privacy and time on a phone was a real concern on these. You had to hope that no one else needed to use the phone, or that they didn't listen on another phone somewhere else in the house. The early 80s was all about giant extravagant drapes, and we're talking the floor-to-ceiling kind. Not only were the drapes extravagant, but so were the tiebacks and the valances that ran across the top. They were there mostly to make a stylish statement. What that was, I don't know. They seemed to be something taken from royalty, but you didn't have any help when it came time to clean them. Something else you saw a lot of in the 80s were lace curtains, and these usually went along with the long extravagant curtains that you saw. This trend seemed to make its way all the way through the decade, and no window seemed to be able to escape these. They could be seen in almost every home, and they were in tons of movies and television shows. However, this lace trend goes back far longer than the 1980s. They were first introduced by the Europeans sometime in the 1900s. 
Floral patterns were everywhere in the 1980s. Not only were they on bedding and curtains, but they could also be found on lampshades, wallpaper, and couches. This is definitely something that can be seen if you go back and watch old movies and shows from the 80s. Plants were something else that could be found everywhere in the 80s. In a way, these were sort of a carryover from the 70s as well as previous decades, but they came on even stronger during the 80s. Homes were being constructed with various patios, large windows, or other areas in order to accommodate this growing trend. Everyone seemed to have their own personal jungle. This trend even went so far as to carry over into bedding, curtains, wallpaper, and more. If you didn't have floral or plant wallpaper, then you just simply painted the walls. Pastel colors were the most popular ones to cover the walls. Most homeowners had some form of pink, soft blues, seafoam green, or purple. The whole room could have been one color, or it may have been divided up into various ways. If you didn't have this somewhere in your house, then you were probably behind the times. Another popular color for the time was mauve, which was not quite pink, not quite purple. That color was just as popular as avocado green was in the 1970s. This color seemed to bring tones of deserts, adobes, and high Sierra sunsets. This color trend came from an artist named Georgia O'Keeffe. After she passed in 1986, her work became extremely popular. The love tub or heart-shaped tub came on strong in the 1980s. You may not have had one, but they were placed in many homes, hotels, and resorts of the time. For the most part, it was sort of a luxury to have something like that, but I'm sure you have seen or heard of them. The heart-shaped tub first appeared in 1968 when Morris Wilkins placed him in his Cove Haven Resort in Lakeville, Pennsylvania. In the 80s, entertainment centers started getting bigger and more popular, and these had to be huge. Where else were you going to put all your records, 8-tracks, cassette tapes, beta tapes, VHS tapes, and Atari games? Sure, some of these were a little outdated, but even at the end of the decade, you just couldn't get rid of them yet. These entertainment centers were a popular place where you could show off your latest collection and play them with your various pieces of equipment that was needed to go along with them. If you got one that was really fancy, then it had glass to protect it all. They also had that little click magnet that would latch the door, and the magnet also seemed to attract fingerprints. You can't escape the 80s trends without talking about brass. These were like gremlins. If you got them wet, then they had babies that popped out everywhere. The metal sculptures on your wall were probably made out of brass. But there were also brass door handles, cabinet handles, lamps, and various other animals and candle holders. These things had to be shined every so often with brass cleaner or they looked awful. Many of the cabinet fixtures were not solid brass, so they either broke or the brass wore off in just a few years. Basically, brass was a royal pain in that <laughs> If you want to make your home look more like the 80s, then just take a peek in any antique store. No one seems to want it anymore. Another big trend of the 80s were Venetian blinds. People still use these today, but they are often plastic. Back then they were metal, which seemed fine unless you had dogs, cats, or kids. Once they were bent, they never would look right again. And how about another set of blinds that were also pretty popular, the vertical blinds. They might be on a patio door or a window and they stretched all the way to the floor. These seemed better than what they actually were. Floor vents were often there and they would blow them back and forth. At that point, they didn't do much covering and they were also quite noisy. Not only that, but they also broke quite frequently. These are certainly not as popular as they once were. Another trend that was in the 70s and carried over into the 1980s and became even more popular was skirting. It wasn't just restricted to ladies or mobile homes. For some reason, your beds, couches, and ottomans all had to have these on them. They were like little monsters on top of the carpet that would eat up toys or anything else important. Oh, and remember that glass table furniture? 
Eventually, those also got fitted with skirted covers. Occasionally, in the later 80s, neon seemed to leap off store signs and into the homes with little dashes of it here and there. It may have just been wall art in a teen or younger household, but it was certainly there. Neon played a big part in the 1980s. One fixture that was pretty solid in the 1980s was the Hollywood vanity lighting. These had big globe bulbs and there was no concern at all that each bulb was 60 or 100 watts. The light fixture itself was often honey oak or coated brass. Everyone wanted to feel glamorous in the 1980s and you could tell. Some women had makeup that didn't blend too well with their skin tone because these stadium lights were in the bathroom. Almost every house in the 80s had wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. Many of the older homes with beautiful wood floors got covered up with shag carpeting in the 70s. If that didn't happen, then the 1980s got a hold of them. One of the popular colors to have at the time was teal. This was pretty popular and it can be seen in the 1989 classic, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. No matter what, the 80s had a style all of its own, even if it did borrow a little from other decades. It was a decade where everything was bigger and better. From shoulder pads to hair and from lace to floral designs, the 80s were going to make sure you saw it. Thanks for traveling back in time and revisiting these forgotten trends of the 1980s. Can you think of any others that we missed? Or maybe you just want to share some of the ones that you had in your home? Let us know in the comments below.